many things that life is and no matter how many breakthroughs trials will exist and we are gonna get through it just be strong hello how are you guys with all the movers and shakers action going on I'm in a quite happy mood if you ask me hello once again I'm Oshin back on the MNS channel to share with you the best Kathmandu had an offer this past week from parties events celebrated personalities we've got it all covered The number of musical television shows are on rise at the present, but are such shows important? What do you think? Do these shows play an important role to nurture musical talent? Well, I along with my MNS members had a strong yes for an answer, so we decided to go deeper into the topic. We caught up with two young song stresses and covered by the Kripan plug to know more. Between the questions asked by our writer Gaurav Pote, the cover faces go out to shoot for the MNS channel. Let's find out who they are and what I'm actually talking about. Namaskar, I'm Prisma Abigail and I'm 15 years old. Uh, I'm studying in grade 11 at Einstein Academy College. Hello everybody, I'm Akshada. I am 15 and currently studying in Idol Model School in grade 10. Singing is my hobby. Music is not just a passion, it's more and more and it, I want to make it my career. This is my first time shooting for a magazine and I was pretty excited. I was like, I'm going to go to the phone tomorrow. I was like, what? For what? And I was like, I'm pretty excited and I was like, it was very, very comfortable. I didn't think it would be this comfortable for me. I was like, I thought that I would be uh, in MNS. When I first got a call from MNS, I was like very shocked. It is completely a new experience for me because I've never done this uh, kind of things before. <laughs> uh, Makeups and photo shoots and interviews. As a subject, as a judge, even in bio, no, it is my first time. Ani mala thavan thena kosari garne. Ani feeling kosto unte. Ani thate na. Ani as a judge ekko choti like boom. Ani first one the make up and all got the hairy, you know, uh, so. Funky type of look. I need to be near my head. I am free now. Kishore Dyson has a come garden. He wanted um, like uh, spooky eyes and dusky looks and everything. I was like, I'm going to go to the house. But uh, I was like, it would turn out to be like this one. First, when I had my makeup, I was like, I'm going to go to the house. When I saw like I was like, very shocked because, because like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go The 
The photo shoot was amazing. Um, I was pretty excited and the excitement was worth it. My ice cream was very good. As everything is done, photo shoots are also very important. And I think that it was a very good opportunity and I did it very well. And Kishore Dai, we came to know that he's a very supporting person. And I want to tell you how to do it. I want to tell you how expressions and everything. And I want to tell you we got to do it today. I really liked MNS because Hunsani, you normal paper or just thin, okay? And it was kind of magazine khalke, like a front paper, like dum khatra, animitra, like uh, news and everything. Like, my life, it, it was very cool. My life, I'm going to go to the my MNS now they too one day and uh, and as I will be on MNS co cover thank you MNS and MNS channel this just goes to show you how much effort programs like Prapa and Plugged have made to bring attention to the ever-growing musical talents in Nepal now for a better look into the story Get your hands on the Kathmandu Post MNS supplement. In recent years, Richa Sharma has tried a lot of diverse roles and that authentic approach to acting. She seems to be enjoying experimenting and her choice of character in her recent release, Talakchun vs. Tilke, just shows that. MNS talks to the very talented actress about movie and everything around it. So here, let's take a closer look. Hello, I'm Richa Sharma and I'm an actor. Talak Jung vs. Tulki uh, is a movie about basically Exana Talak Jung sing Thakuri Bani Manchika story, just like that. Identity, like Hozi Rats, Afno Paichan, Gumaga Sausa, this is a journey. And uh, I played a character fully, and I played a character in the character in the film. And uh, yeah, it's it's a fun, it's a dark comedy. Uh, two hours, uh, you will be entertained. Just laugh, I'm like saying. So we'll see. <laughs> the first thing that matters for me before signing the film is the script of the film, and then comes my character. So that way, Talak Jung versus Tulke Kolagi. When Nishal came to me, uh, I auditioned literally for the character, and uh, he thought I would fit the character. Tora, they were really, really concerned about my accent. My accent is not the conduct of the boss in Tharu Mahila. And then everyone talks the uh, dialect in the film, in the whole film. Then what I did was, it was impossible for me to stay in Kathmandu and try to build that accent in here. So when I went to the real place, real location where we shot the whole film, I was like, I'm going to say everything. And then there was this girl. Uh, I think almost my age, and he, so I used to talk to her, and I find it very interesting the way they talk. It's it's very different from how we talk. Uh, but no loads are thena, my Sunni language your language, but uh, I never tried talking like that. So that was a little different and difficult um, phase for me. But whenever I had to deliver some dialogue, I used to ask her to deliver it first, and then then I used to do it like itro manchiko gadi mosan biagor subana like timla last lagi na like she used to say itra manchiko gadi mosan biagor subana sar malai na to like so you know that's how we made it sound different. See, there's two kind of makers. One who wants to send their films to festivals these days. And because Nepali movies are really doing good, for example, right now Jhola uh, has made it to top, uh, I don't know, 83 or 84 films in Oscars. And it might just be top five films in best foreign language categories, and would be, which would be a great, great achievement for Nepali films, right? And there were films which went to Venice, and then uh, like my movie Highway went to Berlin. So we are making some mark, of course, but there, there are makers, these makers who made all these films, of course, wanted them films to work. Because when you spend money, you want at least something in return. I know that's for sure. I mean, 
So th there are different kind of makers. Like for example, Nishal, he's a completely um, commercial filmmaker on Sumerians, and he knows what will work. He knows how to hit the audience. He knows only cost to make film banana rasa, and all he wants is uh, that movie to be hit. So there are two different kind of uh, makers in the industry. But at the end of the day, you know, whatever you spend, you want it back for sure. <laughs> Ailis, I'm really focused. It's very cliched, but Sanchi, I'm really focused on my career. This year, I've done three films. I'm amazed myself. <laughs> Otherwise, I only do a film, one film a year. So, I've been very occupied with my work, and I love what I do. And so, my family always supports me, and that always keeps me happy. Yes. Getting into the skin of the character is easier said than done, but these hardworking actors make it so easy and natural. Hope Richa Sharma keeps pushing herself to the boundaries, and we keep getting better and better Nepali films in the future. Seems like Halloween has hit K Town in a big way. Nothing more evident than the crowd and craze we saw at Trisara's All Hallows Eve. This is how Kathmandu got going this 31st of October. To get the glimpse of the increasingly popular Halloween night in Kathmandu, this October 31st MNS went for the All Hallows Eve organized by the MN Entertainments at the crowd's favorite Trisara Lazin Pad. Evolving from the ancient Celtic holiday of Samhain, modern Halloween has become less about literal ghosts and ghouls and more about costumes and candies. The Celts use the day to mark the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter. And it's also believed that the transition between the seasons was a bridge to the world of the dead. Well, that was what our lenses got at Trisara. The guests in proper Halloween mood arrived with proper Halloween costumes and props. And for others, the face painting stars painted them in the Halloween mood. Well, the crowd at Trisara was a blend of youngsters and the corporate crowd. The event was hyped up when the costume critters danced to the beats by DJ Finzok and DJ Niral. And what could be better when Friday and the Hallows Eve complement each other? I guess that's why the event went till the wee hours, bringing all the happy and kooky souls together. <laughs> that was it for today, folks. If you like what you've seen so far, subscribe and share. Like they say, sharing is caring. And yes, if you haven't heard of the Kanthipur app yet, go to your app store or your Play Store and download it to get free issues of the Kanthipur Post straight to your phones. I'll see you next week. Until then, keep smiling. Bye-bye.